today's video is all about one of the rarest guinea pig sounds ever and that is guinea pig chirping there's a lot of trouble in the background <laughs> guinea pig chirping is such an odd sound the best way to describe it is to say it sounds like a bird. It definitely does not sound like any other sound that guinea pigs make. And it's super, super rare, so you really don't get to hear it often. So let's listen in on Wilby for a sec. Look, there's a blueberry. Do you want it? So what is chirping and why do they do it? Chirping is a really intense sound, both for everyone listening to it and the guinea pig producing it. You can see it takes Wilby's entire body to produce this sound, like his whole body is shaking. A biologist named Danke writes that a guinea pig can produce up to 100 syllables per minute while chirping. Lumi, who doesn't hear anymore, has no idea why everyone is freaking out and is happy to eat some pea flakes. Chirping seems to be a reaction to stress. This could be hierarchy issues, so during an introduction for example, unusual sounds that freak the guinea pig out, sounds, smells or movements that they cannot categorize and that therefore overwhelm them, but also things like the passing of a herd member can cause chirping. Anything that makes a guinea pig feel insecure and unsure has been observed to cause chirping. Some people also say that it can also indicate that one guinea pig is sick, as in the chirping guinea pig is scared for the sick guinea pig and is making panicky sounds, but I'm honestly not really sure whether that's accurate. I did a bit of a dive what published papers say about chirping, to kind of get like a more rounded answer to that question. And Norbert Zaxa, a professor who's a bit of an expert and kind of famous when it comes to guinea pigs and their social behavior, describes chirping as a behavior that happens when a guinea pig is overwhelmed in their social behavior, so it can't properly cope with a certain social situation. Stanke, a biologist, argues that there are two different situations in which they found chirping. The first one was a reaction to an unknown object or sound, and the second one, which was more common, was during unusual social interactions such as intense fighting or when a guinea pig so was in heat. They also found that chirping never happened while the situation was happening, but usually started minutes or even hours later. Generally, one can say that a chirping guinea pig is not the happiest guinea pig while it is producing that sound. Most other guinea pigs will freeze when they hear a herd member chirp as it signals danger to them. They usually only start moving again once the chirping has stopped. Guinea pigs are prey animals, so they strongly react to the sounds everyone makes. If everyone is relaxed, you often hear them quietly and calmly chatter to themselves. And if they think they smell food, you can all hear them getting really, really excited in their sounds, which then excites the whole herd and more and more guinea pigs join in. The same goes for warning and stress sounds. Chirping signals some kind of danger to everyone. In nature, this is really important for the survival of the group. If anyone spots something dangerous, they warn everyone in the herd with their sounds. However, academia seems to have no definitive answer as to what causes chirping exactly. They do have a few leads though, which I mentioned. I have encountered chirping twice in my life. The first time it was when we had a baby guinea pig named Little One and Little One had a really, really deep sleep. So if you know guinea pigs, you know that they usually don't really sleep too soundly. They are more of the resting type of pet and usually as soon as they hear a noise or feel a movement, they open their eyes and are awake immediately. Little one, however, had a really deep slumber and whenever he was asleep, the other four guinea pigs in his herd went on the upper level. So our cage looked 
kind of similar to that one. So the one was always sleeping underneath the level and then his four family members always went onto the second level. So little one woke up, didn't see any guinea pig around him. So he panicked, started chirping. We always woke up at like 2 or 3 a.m. There was like this period of two to three months where that happened pretty regularly, almost every single night. But since guinea pigs tend to freeze when they hear another guinea pig chirp, they couldn't really react to little one and like go down and tell him that there are still guinea pigs in his cage. So I usually took little one out of the cage. He was a really, really tame guinea pig. I took him out and just placed him on the upper level where he saw his entire family. Seeing his herd members stop the chirping and made him always really, really happy. The second time that I heard the sound was yesterday. Willoughby made the sound. I'm not 100% sure what exactly happened. I know that my toddler was hiding under the sofa and we grown-ups all left the room. So Willoughby saw us leave and I think what happened was that Willoughby figured the room was empty and suddenly my toddler emerged from the sofa and I think Willoughby just got really, really spooked because he couldn't really place a human being in this room when he didn't see anyone come in through the living room door. My toddler has never hit underneath the sofa before. That was the first time for her so I think that might be it might have been a weird situation for a Willby or an unfamiliar one. Willby stopped chirping after five minutes when he realized that Lumi wasn't spooked at all and was just running around and eating pea flakes and was totally unbothered. And when he also saw that all humans came into the living room through the appropriate door, which obviously we usually do, but also, oh, hi Lumi. Someone is joining me. Yeah, you're getting camera assistant Lumi, oh, creative director, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're getting all the people like Lumi. But also, if we take into account what one research paper said, namely that guinea pigs very often chirp minutes or hours after the actual event has happened, it could also be that Wibby was just really, really stressed because Zelda and Tutu have been fighting for the past couple of days and it's gotten more and more intense, so if we think about chirping as a reaction to hierarchy issues, that might also have been it. Though I really suspect it was the fact that the guinea pigs thought this room was empty and then my toddler suddenly emerged from under the sofa. In both of these cases, I'd argue that the two guinea pigs were really overwhelmed with the situation and weren't able to make sense of it. So they felt a sense of danger and reacted accordingly. And most importantly, signaled danger to all of the other guinea pigs around them. Oh, Wilby, you're outside too now. Well, Wilby's totally fine again. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye. This is behind the scenes of me filming. My creative team is just sitting around here having a quick impromptu meeting, just talking about the contents of this video, you know, just some brainstorming going on here. These are my bosses, by the way.